past many days i want to get the pure pixel experience on my redmi note 10 pro so i am searching for the best pixel based custom rom that we can find out so in this video i'll find out the pixel extended latest version update over my redmi note 10 pro i have used this rom flawlessly without any issues and it performs damn great so if you are new to my channel let me introduce myself my name is arav and in this channel we gonna make tech contents based on you what you like so without wasting a further ado let's get started so guys this is the typical pixel experience look and overview of this room and and now much more talking about i want to talk about the smoothness the smoothness is cherry over the cake on this room if you can see that the smoothness of this room i am switching between applications opening and closing applications you can see whatsoever opening qs panel also checking out there isn't a issues that i have faced so far and it is working flawlessly currently i am not i am on 60 hertz display and you can see that it is still smooth over opening and closing if i generally need to be get smoother display we going to see on the display section and we get to enable smooth display and from now you can see that the smoothness of this app what do you say rom over this pixel extended option you can see that there is earned a jug and lag we can face over this 120 hertz it feels damn great without any issues now let's move forward to talk about what customizations that we are getting in this pixel experience what do you say pixel based uh, custom roms now this in this what do you say customizations option we get the pe extensions and from here you get similar customizations like you can enable network traffic indicator i have enabled this and you can also enable this is the system icons option you can do prefer it there is the old like if you can enable this currently now i am on wifi but you can also check that you can clock position to the left you can also select the show seconds after that you can see that it is showing some seconds options too now talking about what uh, my preference over this rom i would like to talk about the batteries and you can see that brightness in qs quick panel slider you can see that you can arrange it also there brightness control option you can by sliding you can increase or decrease its brightness too on your device now let's more talking about the lock screen we are getting double tap options and if i just disable that you can see that it is not working because i am not all enabled always on display options so you get the pulse options i'm not going to need that detail because you all knows that it has have and if you really interested and watching these videos then please consider a like to this video and subscribe to my channel it will really help it to getting more help from yours so now talking about the system not much the options is there you can setting gestures and this is the old pixel based options were given nothing is more given gesture navigation there you can enable haptic feedback and the haptic feedback level on this rom is smooth f so you can't tell me about that you have turned that wrong it is too way good that you can try out at your own now let's move forward to talking about the buttons now here is hardware option there is not as any much more customization so what i can talk about it in this now let's move forward this is a section of customizations and smoothness of the rom let's skip forward to what we are getting the performance from this rom and guys you can see that i have run the 3d mark application and from the result section you can see that i have ran both from the optimization profiles which is given in the battery section and without it so you can see that this is a slingshot test without taking without any performance profile it scores 3846 which open gls 3.0 it is hardcore benchmarking but you can see this now after that i have again run the slingshot extreme test it is also without any performance profile now you can see that i have ran slingshot again with the performance profiles and you can see the difference between the scores even the fps is getting also way better so how can i suggest you to use the optimization profiles now let's move forward to talk about the netflix drm certification yeah we do are getting l1 security level i i am so far telling that you can also play hdr content in your netflix and amazon prime also now let's move forward to talk about the geekbench 
and I have also run that test and you can see that this is a single core and multi core. I am not pretty much happy with the single core score which is a 5 to 2 but yeah anyway performance profiles or what do you say the Geekbench score and any other thing score doesn't matter what matters just is your real life performance. Now in considerations to uh, what do you say I have throttled I have also took what do you say the CPU throttling test and it is based for 15 minutes and now from here you can see that the CPU throttle for 88% which is pretty good no issues that I found with the max years again I also ran it for 30 minutes can you understand 30 minutes I have run that and we get slightly 1% down of throttling in this and it is performing like champ I am again saying it is without any performance profiles it just killed it so you can see that now Mo let's move forward to talking about much more diver in this if you want to talk about the safety net we do consider a safety net passes issues you can see this we are not getting any issues with the safety net problems apart from talking about you uh, aren't getting so much issues if i generally open the drms what do you say device certification if i go to settings and the device is certified so no issues with the banking apps also now many people telling me in the comment section talk about the camera we are getting a normal aosp based camera not a pretty much i have checked through google camera from the play store and it is subtly what do you say working if i click a photo and it is opting such some a good amount of photos you can see that the quality of photos and no issues that you can face so ever and it is performing like a charm and guys the installation steps is so imp what do you say easy you can also check it out and i will tell in the later part of the video how to get installed this room now i have talked about all the benchmarkings and everything now let's dive into see oh, is there any issues that we are getting in the network preferences in settings i haven't faced any call drops wi-fi bug and what's a bluetooth bugs in the applications you are getting the default pixel launcher with no customizations battery let's talk about the battery i have used this device at my usage and you, from the battery application from you can see there from 54 to 13 percent you i have used for five hours and it dropped 41 percent which is according to me not so good the brightness is not pretty much but it is not so good i don't recommend those if you are searching for the battery yeah, charging is pretty fast, but the battery drain issues is me there in this room. Now, talking about much more in the sound and vibration, you get the me sound enhancer over there, but it is not working. Sorry to say that it is not working. You get the live display options and, and anti flicker mode is also been there. So it generally reduces your flickerness of your screen and it is all you know about and the wallpaper and theming and guys, if you Please watching this video, please consider to subscribe because I really need a support from your roles because I am working hard around the corners to give a video to you. My laptop is gonna dead and I'm just making and editing videos on for yours from my smartphone. And if you found any type of what do you say noise background, then please avoid it. In diving into security, you get the face and fingerprint both. And there's not much to talk about. System you got already told about. Thermal profile does not feel or works good. And there's a system update option. But I would recommend please flash manually the updates. You can dirty flash but flash it manually. Android 13 is above there. And you can get the pixel extended logo whatsoever over here. here. And you can see the Android 13 from here. The pretty good, what do you say, smooth and satisfying easter egg now thanks aditya for maintaining this room and we got a january 5th security update with the best phantom kernel which is built on third friday january 7th so this is all about this now let's talk move forward what i recommend this room or not so guys my personal uses consist of using twitter's youtube vt studios and much telegrams and these applications in the twitter i haven't faced any jerk or say what yeah the battery is not so good in terms of battery i will not gonna recommend if you have less amount of money in a bank account then you should try this uh, any custom rooms but if you have lots of monies 
then please don't try any custom rom i would recommend that and this is all for what you say right now i have fully want to recommend you rom if you don't have any battery issues you can go for this so thanks for watching videos we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye